Hi everybody, I'm recording this after uh, all the footage that you're about to see, but I just wanted to come in and say that this is our like short little vlog of our trip to New York City where we went to Sweet Sweet, which is a toy convention where they come in and show off upcoming toys that are gonna be coming out within the next year or so. Um, so yeah, and we go to the Barbie Cafe and it was a lot of fun, so yeah, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so I have to do a voiceover for this because um, the audio was just not usable, mainly because it was super loud inside the convention, but here is our view with our very dirty window from our hotel in the city, which is very nice. And here is Emma. <laughs> So we got to the event and just kind of roamed around. I was very overwhelmed. There's so much going on. Um, the first thing we went and saw was Barbie, of course. I love this little um, dream house and they had every single one of the new Barbie movie dolls on display. I do not have any of them in my collection yet, but I really, really want the remote control car. And I don't know which Barbie I want to be my first one. I don't know if I want to get the perfect day Barbie or if I want to get the Western Barbie. I don't know. I love both of those ones a lot. Winx Club was also here, which I was so excited about. They didn't have any new products, but they did have these 2008 dolls on display, which was giving me major nostalgia. Flora's always been my favorite, so I was so happy to see her. MGA didn't really have a lot of doll related stuff. They were there with little tykes, but we did talk to them about Rainbow High. <laughs> Of course I had to stop at the Miraculous booth because I love Miraculous. I want to get all of these dolls now because they displayed them so cool and I love the poses they're in. I cannot wait for the Multi Mouse and the Julika doll and I'm so excited to watch the movie. Uh, I'm gonna make Emma come over and we're gonna have a little ladybug watch party. I don't know. <laughs> I was told that not all of the dolls you see here are available in stores yet, like Multi Mouse and Julika and uh, what's the ladybug with the light blue hair? I forgot what she's called. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I cannot wait to see those ones in stores because I need them. <laughs> and they also had all of the little Kwamis and the movie dolls specifically and the car, which looks so cool on this rotating table. Also, there was a Snorlax. Um, I love this. Emma took pictures with him and then we played like a Pokemon card game that they are like making so it's like a lot easier for new people that are not used to playing Pokemon and that was a lot of fun. Then we stopped over at the Fidgy Friends booth and I'm actually really excited for these dolls. They're so cute. The nylon hair is really high quality and their fashions are so bizarre. I love it so much. We also checked out these new Tamagotchis, which I don't know if you guys are into these, but um, I love the little new gimmicks on them. They're making a BTS Tamagotchi. Like, what is that? They also have Spy Family and Grogu from The Mandalorian. Like, what is going on? Then we stopped by the Magic Mixies Pixlings booth, which I'm so excited I got to see these dolls in person for the first time. Their hair is super nice quality and they're just really, really cute. Like I love the details on their faces too. I'm very excited for these and I can't wait to get some. This was also my very first time seeing the Disney I Love You Forever dolls in person. These are the new ones. I don't know if they're available in stores yet and I didn't want to touch them because there was no representative at the booth so I don't know what their hair quality is like. I'm sorry but they are so cute. I love the outfits um, and I also went to the Disney store. I didn't film that and got to see the dolls that are available now in person which are very cute. Then we stopped by the Palm Pals booth where Emma was like feeling in this mystery box and you're supposed to guess which plushie you're holding in your your hands and then you win one. It's really cute. She guessed correctly, by the way. You just can't hear anything because the audio is too loud in there, man. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty good. Emma want a butterfly. 
They also gave me this little strawberry cow, which I really felt like I needed to show off because I love it so much. Also, a complete surprise to us, but Rainbow Bright and Strawberry Shortcake are making a comeback and they're making reproductions of the dolls. This is insane to me, I had no idea. And the Strawberry Shortcake is completely articulated, like knees, feet, wrists, elbows, shoulders, like everything. Then we also got to see the Latinistas and Naturalistas dolls, which the hair quality and the sculpting on these dolls is really beautiful. Their faces are so pretty. We also went over to the Fresh Dolls booth where they have the new Fresh Beats dolls that'll be coming out soon and some new Fresh Dolls that are not out yet, I believe. Again, same thing I said before, I love the hair texture, love the sculpting, and the fashions on the Fresh Beats dolls are super cute. I can't wait to see what people do with these when they get them. So that was pretty much our sweet, sweet journey. And then the next day we went over to the Barbie Cafe, which was really exciting. I love the decor in here. Clearly I was having a great time. <laughs> So first, Emma and I just sat down to enjoy our meal, which came out really quickly. I was like shocked. It was like we sat down and then instantly our food was brought to us. And then the rest of our allotted time, we just like walked around and took a bunch of pictures, which was very cool to see the Malibu Barbie dolls in person. And yeah, so we were just kind of doing our own thing, you know? <laughs> So yeah, that was our vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we had a lot of fun on this trip and I'm sure we'll talk more about uh, our opinions on the Barbie Cafe and stuff that happened at Sweet Sweet in uh, the podcast episode, which will be coming out sometime this month. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I had a great time and I was so glad to meet people I've never met before and talk to people that have like similar interests as me. It's, it's just a lot of fun because like usually it's just Emma and I that talk to each other about that kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.